We are here from all sorts of communities, many different sizes, many different parts of the country, but we are here with one message, and that is that infrastructure matters. The very basis of our lives, of each and every single one of our communities, is based on having a solid, a good infrastructure. And we, as government finance officers, are committed to seeing that happen, committed also to lobbying to make sure that that happens. Because of the declining of America's infrastructure is one of the most pressing issues facing not only our great city here, but it's also an issue that is facing our country, every city, town, and village in America. Over the last week, many state and local leaders have engaged in a nationwide conversation regarding infrastructure. For the past two years, as part of our annual conferences, we've held events focusing on our nation's infrastructure and the municipal bonds that helped to build it. We've spread our message, especially through social media, using the hashtag BuiltByBonds to educate leaders in Washington, D.C. and around the country that so many of our vital projects would not be able to be completed without municipal bond financing. Maintaining a tax exemption on these bonds will ensure that we have an affordable source to finance this capital program. Uh, Chandler, like so many communities around the country, is keeping pace with the growth that supports a vibrant local economy. Chandler, Arizona is known as the innovation and technology hub of the Southwest, and bonds are a very important part of our almost $1 billion capital improvement program. From 2012 to 2017 alone, advanced refunding saved public issuers more than $14 billion. We need to continue reminding our federal partners that our nation's intergovernmental partnership is successful, which is why fully restoring advanced refunding is one of GFOA's top legislative priorities. It's important for GFOA to be one of the primary organizations carrying this message. Uh, the key thing that um, the GFOA brings to the table is the power of a 20,000 member organization that represents constituencies all over the United States. We have a really great, strong office here in Washington, and I think that is uh, one of the most valuable assets of the GFOA organization. It's critical that uh, we conduct outreach uh, to those individuals that represent us. Uh, they need to hear directly from us. Oftentimes, uh, we're talking to maybe staff members or um, other organizations that are taking our message uh, to those individuals on our, our behalf. Uh, by having an opportunity to speak directly with them, it gives them an opportunity to ask us questions. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to provide them with unfiltered information. So many of our members are smaller governments, school districts, special districts. Um, and many times, the voice from those organizations isn't heard. Uh, larger governments, state, federal, uh, county governments are the ones that, that, that get the attention. So I think it's very important that those of us from smaller governments participate and reach out to our legislators. We know what the real issues are and are able to explain them at a high level to our elected officials so they can take that and weave that into legislation. Being president and being able to speak directly to these people who um, vote on the legislation, pass the laws, put in place the policies, the regulations, uh, being able to share um, a real world perspective uh, where the local government is where the rubber meets the road. That's where we do most of the work. And so it's important that they hear that directly from us. It's really a coordinated effort and I think um, numbers matter. So when they start getting a lot of phone calls, they start getting a lot of emails, they start hearing a lot of talk about the same subjects. I think that's really where we have a lot of power as an organization the size of GFOA. There's staff hard at work every day making sure that our voice is heard by the elected officials, by the regulators, and by our colleagues within the industry. And that dialogue, that, that dynamic, uh, you can't underscore the importance of that enough. Municipal bonds have been a steady resource in building our country, and they will continue to finance our growth as we move forward in the future.